Hey, good morning. How you doing, huh? Say this with me right now to start off today. Let's say the rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Hallelujah, huh? Happy Wednesday. Hey, this evening, if you're in the Melbourne area for our fellowship tonight, we are having pulled pork and some barbecue and some potato chips, barbecue potato chips and regular for you people who like regular potato chips and some coleslaw and some potato salad and who knows what else these people are going to bring because they bring good stuff. We got some cake too. Lots of stuff. People bring pies. Oh my God. If you come, you don't have to worry about bringing anything. We got food you can take home with you. Amen. We always make extra. And so if you're in the Melbourne area, we will be glad to have you tonight. Praise God. And Wednesday evening is our intimate family time. We have an intimate, exclusive church family. But membership is open and everybody is welcome. You show up tonight and you will be accepted and loved. Amen. Hey, since the rest of my life is the best of my life. Don't forget, if you need a miracle today, if you need a miracle today, call me. I'm in the miracle business. God is in the miracle business. Jesus did miracles when he was here. They've never stopped. If you need a miracle, call me. When you make offerings or you tithe or donations today, call me because I want to speak the word-for-word -word blessing over you that God commanded us to speak. Amen. He said, and when you speak that blessing, I will bless them. Because what we actually do when we speak that blessing is we put God's name upon you. And he will bless you. That's what he said in Numbers chapter 6, verse 22 through 27. Hey, I want to talk to you today about how to get miracles from God. It's not as hard as you might think. I have been seeing miracles in my ministry since three weeks after I got saved. God did a miracle through me. I'm telling you what, three weeks after I got saved was the first miracle. I've never gotten over it. I have never gotten over that miracle because that, you know how in our lives we have defining, what we call a defining moment where something happens and you're never the same. Where something happens and in your life and you go, whoa, and you're just, and it's just never the same. I'll tell you something that happens to you people is finding these videos. You find these videos and you watch these videos for 30 days. I'm telling you what, your life will never be the same. It will never be the same. These videos will quicken your spirit and increase your faith. People said, lady said to me last night, bless her heart. She says, Pastor Jim, just pray for me to have more faith. I said, I can't do that. Faith doesn't come through prayer. Faith comes through hearing God's word. You watch these videos and you hear this and your faith will increase. Faith for miracles. Three weeks after I got saved, I was sitting at my desk in a used car lot. Same seat I was sitting in when I got saved three weeks before that. And I was reading in Mark chapter 16. That's Mark. That's in the New Testament. I know that. I knew that was in the New Testament. I, people out there, they always say, Pastor Jim, that's in the New Testament. Thank you. I already knew that. Thank you. I was reading this right here. In Mark chapter 16. Jesus said unto them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. 
In my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall lay hands on the sick and they will recover. I looked at that. I thought, hmm. That was a hmm moment. Somebody says something and you go, hmm. I did not know that. Johnny Carson years ago used to say, I did not know that. I went, hmm. I read it again. I read it again. I started reading it out loud. These signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Hmm. They shall. Didn't say they might. Didn't say they could. Didn't say may. The, the word maybe is not in there. The word shall is in there. Do you know what the word shall means? It means shall. Shall happen. My mother said, if you don't get to bed, you're going to get a smack with this fly swatter. We went to bed. We couldn't get up the stairs fast enough. We would trip over each other getting up the stairs. We knew she meant business. And this means business too, folks. Let me tell you something. This book means business. I interpret this book exactly the way it is written. Nothing more, nothing less. These signs shall follow them that believe in my name. I said, you know what? I am one of them that believes. I had just gotten saved. I didn't have any idea what this thing meant. What, all I knew is, I am one of them that believes. And I said, if I am one of them be, that believes, then I should be able to lay hands on sick people and they would get and they would recover. I should be able to do that. If I'm one of them that believes, and I am, I believe. Hey, I had just gotten saved and filled with the Holy Ghost, folks. Let me tell you, I believed. I believed from the bottom of my heart. I believed that Jesus was Lord and he was my Savior and is. So I should be able to do that. And then I thought to myself, wouldn't it be fun to just touch somebody and have them get healed? Now, I knew Jesus had done that because I went to Sunday school every Sunday when I was a kid. And the preacher always talked about Jesus touching people and healing them. And Sunday school teacher, Jesus touched. But that wasn't for today. Then nobody, nobody did it. But they talked about it. Talked about Jesus doing it. But now Jesus, here, here the Bible, Jesus is, is talking. He says, we can do this. And I went, whoa. Us. That's what it said. It said, if these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. I went, that's me. If this is true, if it's true, and I believed in all my heart that it was, but if it is, then I should be able to do that. Does that make sense? If this is true, then I should be able to lay my hand on somebody and have them get healed. Why? Because I'm one of them that believes. That's what it says. Okay. I can do that if this is true. Well, about that time, this was four o'clock in the afternoon. I still remember what time it was. Here comes one of the mechanics out of the garage. I was out in the office. I didn't work on the cars. I ran the, the whole dealership. I was in my office. 
he comes into my office and he says, Jim, he says, I won't be at work tomorrow. He says, I blew my knee out. It's all swollen up. He says, I can hardly get my pants on. You could see his knee was all blown up. These signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Now you find out if you really believe what it says. I got up from my desk. I walked across the office. My office was large. I walked across the office, stood next to him, put, and I stood next to him and I said, do you believe God can heal you? He looks up at me because I was a lot taller than him. And he goes, yeah. He had a real deep voice. Yeah. I put my hand on his shoulder. I said, in the name of Jesus, I command that knee to be healed. Took my hand off him, stepped away, because he was a little nervous. We weren't that good of friends. I said, okay, you're all set. He never said a word. Turned around and limped back into the service department. About a half an hour later, I went back there and I said to him, I said, how's your knee? He says, you're not going to believe this. He said, but the swelling is going down. I said, okay. Turned around and walked away. Went back to my office. He comes back out at 5 o'clock, one hour later, and he says, look at this. He says, my knee is cured. He says, it's cured. It's all better. He says, I'll be at work tomorrow. I said, okay. Never cracked a smile. I said, okay. Out the door he went. He closed the door and I went, ah! What had just happened? God had done a miracle through me. Saved three. I had never seen anybody healed. I had never seen anybody even prayed for. And here God did a miracle through me. And it's been going on ever since. Because I am one of them that believes in the name of Jesus. You need a miracle today, I'm telling you. You call me, I'll do it right over the phone for you. I do this all the time. I've been doing it. That was decades ago. And let me tell you, people have been healed off their deathbeds. Blind eyes have been open. Tumors disappear almost instantly. Just some of them over a period of time. Man with a huge tumor in his lung went away. I mean, just constant healings like this. We, diabetes healed. Heart disease healed. People get new hearts. Everything happens because I am one of them that believes in the name of Jesus. And you can get a miracle too. If you don't have that kind of faith in the name of Jesus, you call me and I'll do it for you. Amen? Because faith is transferable. I will do it for you. I get miracles for people all the time, just like Jesus got miracles for people 2,000 years ago. And Jesus himself said, that which I do, you can do also, but you got to have faith in the name of Jesus to do it. That's how we get to miracles. Glory to God. Tell everybody you know about this video, please. Share this video. I want everybody to be able to get a miracle. If you need a miracle today, you call me. You need a prayer answer today, you call me. We get things done through the power of in the name of Jesus, and we give all the glory to God. Share this video with everybody you know. Share it, please. Tell everybody you know about these videos, because I'm telling you what, they are life-changing. People call me, they get healed, their finances increase, they get the rent paid, their car payments made, they find jobs, they get places to live. This happens every single day. People around the world call me. And we get, I'm the only minister who has a large ministry who answers the phone himself. I answer the phone when you call. Glory to God. Don't forget, when you make offerings or you tithe or donate to this ministry today, you call me because I want to bless you. I want to speak God's blessing over you and you will be blessed. I'm out of time. I love you very much. God bless you.